adapt to the prevailing level of light and become able to see clearly. A reason or reasons for acting or behaving in a particular way. How to stay focused and motivated in life. I'm sure this topic can talk to a lot of people because we are all experiencing some doubt and frustration sometimes when we are trying to achieve our goals. So if you're one of those, bear with me and I'll explain few options on how you can improve your focus and motivation in life and for any of your goals. One of the reasons why we are not focused in life is definitely because we don't know why we are doing things. Have you ever heard this story about like your girlfriend or your boyfriend trying to put you in the gym, let's say for example, that's the most common example I can give you. They would say you should go to the gym, come with me, they'll try to turn it in like weird way and you're trying one day, two days, two weeks for the most motivated, four weeks and a month or two months, but it's not sustainable. Why is that? Simply because you don't know why you're doing it. It's for someone else. And why would you keep doing things that are not for yourself? Because you don't have any purpose. It's for someone else. You don't have any objectives. There is no reasons why you should be doing this. So if you want to be focused and motivated, then just know why you're doing it. Why is that? What are the benefits from you to achieve this? Is it like you'll get more money, you'll be happier, better life, or you get any other benefits from the society? I don't know, but it has to be something that speaks to you and not someone else. Number two, schedule your day. How does that work? Basically, when you wake up in the morning, you have to know why you're waking up. You can't just wake up and then like drive and then think, oh, what, what I, should I should be doing, doing today? today. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I remember I, remember I said I would be doing, doing this now. So, you know, it's like you drawing lines around yourself so you know where to go. But it doesn't mean that when you're trying, you won't be disturbed. But that's another story. Let's first draw lines around us so we know where to walk and which direction to take. When it comes to things that can disturb your way or you being stuck where you are, even though you know where you're going, then there is a video here about procrastination. Scheduling your days can also be scheduling your week. I really like to have the big picture. I have a bullet journal. I'm not sure if you know about this. It's really useful when you're defining your goals and like you try to know why you're doing certain things. And this bullet journal helps me see the year goal and then shrinking into months into weeks and into days. Number three, workout. And I'm not saying you should be going to the gym, spending two hours, five days a week, nah. I'm just saying you can go outside, walk a bit, you can do yoga, you can do stretching, but do something for your body. Why is that? Simply because it helps the blood to circulate and gives you clarity on your goals. Really, if you don't believe in it, just try it at least for a week or two, let's say two weeks, and then come back in this video, tell me in the comment section if that's something that helped you just see clarity. It will help you see a whole different pictures on how and why you're doing certain things. Now, fourth point, sleep and water. I put them together because it's something that goes, I think, together, and I don't want to say one point drink water or one point just sleep. You'll be like, why is she talking about? <laughs> Anyway, get enough sleep. It, there is no magical here. If you don't sleep enough, you won't be focused. And I'm pretty sure you know this idea of having clouds all around your head and then you need coffee to focus, but uh, it doesn't really work. And then you have headaches and stuff like that. Just sleep and drink enough water. That solves 50% and I'm really nice of your issues. Headache, less clarity, like being in a mood where you don't know what to do. Just get enough sleep. If that's six hours for you, then do six hours. If that's eight hours, do eight hours and then drink water. I personally drink water first thing in the morning with a bit of lemon because of the pH. And I can do a video about this on how nutrition helps you focus as well because my purpose here is just help you achieve your best life. And if that comes to that, then in that case, of course, I'll be doing a video for you. The last point, guys, is to celebrate your wins. There is no such thing of working for free, and that works also for yourself. So don't try to think that you'll be able to work, 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 work. <laughs> and trying to think that your mind will keep going like this forever because it won't work. The only thing you can gain from that is the lack of motivation because your mind will try to protect himself from overworking and we just put some walls on your path. 
and you you'll create your own path so it's just you and yourself that's super weird what i'm saying now but that makes totally sense when you're seeing that nobody works for free and that's also true for your mind so try to gratify yourself go to a restaurant celebrate like speak to your friends or your family or i don't know do something and then start again because that's a cycle if you do something you do it you do it you do it until you see the results when you see the results celebrate give yourself a bit of love and you'll see guys everything will just be fine all right guys if you like or learn anything at all in this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it to whoever can benefit from that video otherwise hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because this year guys i'm dedicated to create three videos per week to help you put your life at another level until then guys Peace.